Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine and in this video I am showing you the dilution sprays with coloring sheets. Today I am showing you the dilutions coloring sheets. It comes in a little book like this and they are a bit larger than 5 by 7 so let's just see about 8 by 5 I think they are. Yeah, 8 by 5 inches in size. Now if you love Diane's work but can never really get there yourself, this is perfect for you because what she has done is taken some of her designs, there's two of each design, and printed them out on this heavyweight matte cardstock that all you need to do is color in and then you can add it to your art journal, you can put them on cards, you could even cut up pieces of them and um, have really fun elements to your projects. I'll just sort of flip through some of them. It has like Diane's quirky uh, sense of humor. I'm sorry I don't remember ordering a glass of your opinion as well of her really funky collage designs. So you get the idea. So what I have done is I took one of her designs and I painted it in using the Dilutions ink sprays and I'm going to show you how to do that. And then to make it a 5 by 7 card, I just cut it down a bit. Um, I took an inch off the bottom and top in total so it would fit on my 5 by 7 card. And then I have a really fun card I could give to somebody. So I took the sheet here. Now I also want to share with you a tip. If you have a bunch of um, these water brushes, what you could do is take your sprays and put them right in. So instead of putting water, you put the sprays in and now they're already set to color. You just give it a bit of squeeze to make sure it's running. And I can just paint with these. So it's that easy. You don't have to worry about anything else. So if you like this technique, uh, of painting with dilution sprays, you may want to consider um, putting your sprays into water brushes. And you can do this with any spray. If you like um, to paint with the Tim Holtz Distress sprays, you could do it with those. Any sprays that are on the market. And then it's really easy and fun to add some watercolor to your projects like this. Now say you don't have a bunch of water brushes lying around, I'm going to show you another thing you can do. You can spray some color onto your craft sheet like that. And then even just with a regular brush, I'm going to dip it in my water. I can just pick up the color and paint with it. So if you don't have a bunch of the water brushes, but you still want to paint with the sprays, you, this is how you do it. Really simple. And you can add some other colors to this, of course, make it really bright and colorful. I'm not going to do the whole thing today because we would be here a while painting this in. Any sort of coloring you do, it's very therapeutic. You want to take your time and play with colors and that and um, just enjoy the process. So that just quickly shows you how you can take these pages from the Dilutions coloring sheets and paint with your Dilutions sprays either straight out of the bottle with a brush or pouring them into a water brush and paint directly onto your projects. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like our video, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to our YouTube channel Scrap Time Videos. See you next time. Bye bye!